Hey, how's it going, guys? In this tutorial, we'll learn how to run queries against data stored in Google Cloud Storage in Google BigQuery. All right, so I'll show two examples. One example is to create a data set in a Google Cloud Storage as a temporary table. The other example is to establish a permanent external connection to a Cloud Storage data set in BigQuery for reusability. So before I dive into the tutorial, I'm going to uh, use my uh, US days CSV data set in my uh, SQL for BigQuery bucket. And let me go ahead and delete these two files. And the uh, CSV file is going to look like this. Here, let me open the file first. So from the file, we're going to have two counts. The first count is going to be the state name. And the second count is going to be the state abbreviation. Now let's dive into the Python script development. All right, so uh, here they have two uh, files created. So for example one, we're going to write a program to uh, query data against the uh, CSV file stored in Google Cloud Storage. All right, so first I'm going to import the BigQuery module. Next, I'll construct my Google BigQuery client instance. And I'll name the object client. And to allow BigQuery to communicate with an external data source, we need to define an external configuration setting as an object. So here I have this piece of code. So first, I'm defining the uh, configuration type as CSV because my file type is going to be a CSV data file. Then I need to specify the uh, data source from the uh, Google Cloud Storage. And here we need to supply the Google Cloud Storage URI to the source URI's uh, attribute. And if you don't know where to get this uh, uh, URI address from, so basically you can click on the file and from the overview section, the URI is going to be under GSUTIL URI uh, field. And basically just copy uh, the address over and supply that to the uh, source URI's uh, attribute as a list. And based on your CSV file data set, so in my CSV file, I have two counts. One is going to be the uh, state name and one is going to be the state abbreviation. So here we need to uh, define the field schema using the uh, schema attribute. And again, it's going to be a list. Inside the list, we're going to uh, define each column individually. So for the state name column, uh, so here we need to use BigQuery the schema fields uh, class to define the columns metadata. So this is going to be the field name followed by the data type. And here's the uh, definition of the field schema for the second column. So from my CSV file, I don't want to uh, import the first row. So from external configuration object, the CSV options, I'm going to skip the first row by uh, assigning the skip leading rows value to one. So that means that I want to skip the first row. And once we have created the connection, we need to uh, provide a temporary table name to our table. So I'm going to name my table US States table. Now we're ready to make an API code to uh, create the data, but there's still some prep work that we need to do. So first we need to uh, create a query job configuration uh, object. So basically we're saying that uh, before we're going to uh, run our query, we're going to provide our table definition. And the uh, table definitions is going to be where your data source is going to be coming from. So in this case, my data source is coming from a cloud storage uh, data set, and it's going to be a sys file. And I already configured everything into this uh, external config object. So here uh, from the table definitions uh, parameter, I'm assigning the external config object to the table ID as the uh, data source. Now as for the SQL statement that I want to run to uh, specify the uh, data set that I want to return. Let's say from my SQL statement, I want to return all the states that starts with a letter W. So basically, uh, if we look at the uh, SQL statement, so here I have this uh, variable uh, placeholder that takes the uh, table ID as the uh, table name in the uh, select statement. And here's my where clause. 
Now at this point, I'm ready to make an API call to run the query. So from client.query, I'm going to provide my SQL statement. And for the uh, job configuration, uh, this is going to be coming from the uh, job config object. So here, let me move the line above the uh, query job creation. And once the query is executed uh, successfully, I can go ahead and uh, use the list function to print the result. So here, I'm going to uh, name the output as w states. I'm going to print the output at the end. All right, so this is going to be uh, everything that we need to write for the script. Now let me uh, change my environment first. All right, so if I go ahead and uh, run the script. Now if we look at the output, it's going to turn this with a list of uh, rows named tuple. And each row named tuple will have uh, two elements. The first element is going to be the uh, state name. And the second element is going to be the state abbreviation. All right, so we have covered example one. Now let's cover example two, which is going to be creating a permanent connection in BigQuery. So the setup is pretty similar. I can basically reuse some of the uh, code from example one. So I'm going to basically just copy paste uh, the code block that I'll be reusing. I want to uh, go back to my BigQuery console. And under my JJ data sets, data set, and here they uh, create my uh, connection, which is going to be your states. If I go to the details tab, and here we're going to have this uh, external data configuration session, and which tells you that uh, this table here is coming from external data source. But I want to uh, go ahead and delete this uh, connection. I'm going to recreate the connection from scratch. Now going back to the script, inside my script, I need to define my data set that I want to uh, insert the connection to. In this case, it's going to be my JJ underscore data sets data set. And I need to create a data set reference. So the uh, external connection uh, needs to know where to uh, place the connection object to. And I'll name the object data set ref. And from BigQuery, the data set reference. We need to provide the project ID and the data set ID. And for the table name, I'm actually going to name the table US states. And because this is going to be a, a permanent connection that we're going to create, so we only need to create the uh, connection once. Therefore, uh, the code is going to be a bit longer. So here we need to create our table reference. And this should be a table. And from the uh, table reference, inside the uh, table class, we can uh, insert the data set ref the table and we'll provide the uh, table ID. And for the count schema, and because we're actually creating a table connection, I'm going to uh, remove external config uh, reference. And I'll move that here. And this will be a uh, table ID. As for the external connection setting, uh, this is going to be the same because uh, this tells BigQuery that we are trying to establish a connection to uh, our Google Cloud Storage. But I just know if we want to uh, create a permanent or temporary connection. And to create a permanent connection, from table ref after the external data configuration. I'm going to assign the external config object to this external data configuration attribute. Then can go ahead and uh, create the connection table by referencing the client object the create table. And I'll provide my table reference object. And this point, Everything else is going to be the same. So I'll go ahead and uh, copy my uh, query configuration and the uh, uh, SQL statement. All right, so if I go ahead and run the script. Oh, so uh, my client object is missing a project ID. Oh, this should be project, not project ID. All right, so let me try again. 
Now I'm getting another error. When defining a table with the external data configuration, a schema must be present on either the table or the external data configuration. Now let me take a look. Oh, I know why. So when I create my table reference, I forgot to uh, specify the schema. Otherwise, uh, the create table method won't know uh, what columns to create. All right, so let me go ahead and fix the issue. So from the uh, table class, we need to provide the uh, table reference object. And for the schema, we're going to assign the schema to the schema's parameter. All right, so I think uh, that's going to be it. Let me try again. So I'm getting a 400 uh, post here. Now let me take a look. It's saying that required parameter is missing. All right, so in this case, I want to troubleshoot the, uh, the script. So what I will do here is I'll run uh, each line one by one. So I'll go ahead and uh, run the first code block. Then I'll create my table reference. Then I'll create my external configuration object. And so far, everything looks good. So I guess uh, the issue is probably with uh, the create table method. Now let me run these two lines. So I'm not getting any error when I create the table. Now if I print the table object, it's returning the uh, your state's table uh, correctly. So the only thing I can think of is uh, when I first create the table, from the uh, first error that I received, there was something happening that I wasn't aware of. Now, if I go ahead and run the uh, SQL query, and send, uh, let me see, table ID is your states. So here, let me go ahead and uh, refresh my BigQuery console because uh, when I run the this uh, create table method, my connection is created, it's point. So if I go into my JJ data sets data set, and here's my your states table. And looking at the schema, I my uh, two fields. And if I go into the details tab, here is providing me with the uh, current information. Now let me see. Okay, I know why. Because uh, our connection is permanent. So I don't need to uh, define the table definition when I try to run a query using BigQuery API. So I can simply get rid of this line here and I can uh, directly run the SQL statement using the client that query method. Now here let me I'll go ahead and uh, terminate this session. And what I want to do here is I want to come out the external connection creation. And I'll leave the uh, table ID available. And I want to update the uh, SQL statement a little bit. And because we're going to uh, run a query directly against the USA uh, connection table. So I'm going to uh, provide the full syntax, which is going to be uh, including the data set ID and the table ID. And my data set is going to be uh, this variable here. Now if I run the SQL query in Python, it's going to return the records back in a list. If I go back to uh, BigQuery console, and if I run the same single statement, And here I need to uh, change that to JJ data sets and US states. And if I run the query in uh, BigQuery console, I should get the uh, same result set back. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And so it's, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.